What's going on you guys? This is Ryan here again with another NCAA 14 Ultimate Team Bundle opening. Uh, today we have 30 unopened packs with 2 unopened bonus packs. I uh, decided to use the remainder of my PSN wallet to open up these packs. And uh, this is already pre-recorded. I did this in a Skype call with my friends. Uh, you know, London and stuff. And uh, I didn't really want to do live reactions because everyone was talking. I didn't really want to leave the call. So I just went ahead and opened these. And uh, <clears throat> we got a Glenn Dorsey and a Michael Irvin. I was really surprised to be Michael Irvin. Um, I forgot he was in the game, but uh, his stats are 91 speed, 96 pet catch, which is pretty good, but just decided to sell him for around 30-something K. And uh, here's the 30 unopened packs now. Monte Ball right off the bat. Really good card, but uh, definitely a better halfbacks than that. So I think I ended up selling him too for a decent amount. Uh, I guess it's a wanted card in the uh, infut community <laughs> uh, my friend Fuggle really likes to use that card so uh, what we're doing right now is we're trying to get either the Bo Jackson or the RG3 legendary card and uh, I don't know we'll see if we get them though um, I just want to know what you guys have been thinking about this game so far do you like it um, I do want to say that I do think it's a little bit annoying that you can't buy bundles with coins uh, I don't know if they'll ever change that in the future. Um, I'm not going to say they're money hungry, but it kind of seems like it when you can only open up bundles with uh, money, PSN, and uh, Microsoft points. But um, nothing is out of pocket for opening up these packs. I mean, uh, my PSN has been, just like Wise has said, we've been storing Microsoft points, PSN, wallet, uh, whatever you want to call it, for quite some time now. And various ways of getting that getting deals with people uh so it, it's nothing really out of pocket and you saw that antonio gates right there uh wearing his basketball jersey which i thought was pretty cool when i saw that uh, i've already seen the card but seeing it in person is pretty cool um and like i said the bundles with the psn and stuff it's just for your guys entertainment uh like i said people complain that oh you're you're buying your team you're doing this you're doing that I mean, would it really be fun to watch videos if we all had shit teams and were pulling pack by pack and not really getting anything? Uh, going ahead and just using what you have and getting yourself a good team, playing some games, and having fun is a lot more entertaining than struggling and uh, buying packs with, like I said, single coin or single packs with your coins and going down to zero. It's just, it's really annoying. It wouldn't be, it it wouldn't make for good videos, is what I'm trying to say. So that's the reason why. I used just the PSN I had. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look through all these cards now and see what we pull. Uh, right there, I was really happy about that. Sebastian Janikowski. Check this out. I think I do flip it over here in a minute. 99 kick power. 90 uh, kick accuracy. Really happy to get that. I really hate Graham Gano. Uh, I don't understand why they made him an elite card in the game. Uh, his kick power isn't the greatest. And I miss some field goals in games when I'm trying to go and uh, get some points on the board instead of just punting the ball because I usually have to punt when I'm in that situation because Graham Gano is just not good. Uh, but we did get an Ohio State player there and another Ohio State player, Brian Rule and Justin Bourne. Um, definitely going to be making that Ohio State team at some point. I'll have my main um, good team and then my Ohio State team, which should be pretty good, I mean. I got a good player at almost every position. As soon as that Troy Smith comes out, um, definitely I'll be making that Ohio State team. Uh, he's like 97 overall. If you look in the uh, Ohio State, it's one of the solo challenges where you play either the Big Ten or Ohio State. I can't remember, but if you look, they have a uh, 97 overall Troy Smith, which is really, really epic. He had like 94 speed or something. Uh, you saw that Vernon Davis. I ended up selling him for like 25k. It's really highly sought after card. I guess it's the best tight end in the game. Um, not overall wise, but you know what I mean. Alden Smith there. Um, it's funny to see Alden Smith uh, like that. Uh, I don't know. I just I'm so used to seeing him in a 49ers uniform in Madden. I was like, who's this? And I'm like, oh, it's Alden Smith. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you see our coins slowly going back up. Like I said, I went on a spree with coins when I saw that Bo Jackson had updated odds and uh, I don't know I didn't really have that much I had about like 60k I spent all of it so 
Um, I'm already back up to right now. Let's see what I have on my game. If I look. Back up to like 125k. Still a lot of shit to sell. So uh, this bundle was pretty good. I must say. Martin Rucker right there. Uh, basic 85 overall. Tight end. Um, anything else in here worth noting? Uh, I don't think so. It sucks that the All-America packs, you only really get one good card, and the rest aren't really worth it. Uh, in the future, maybe, for collections and stuff, but my reserves are filled to the brim right now, and I need to only hold what I absolutely need. So, I'm discarding some bronze, some silvers, and shit like that, so... Uh, if they're worth anything, I'm sorry for discarding them, I just really don't know. Uh, I think this pack was really awesome, yeah. I got a quick sell for 5,000, two nicknames... And then a Devin McCourty. Yeah, I think I quick sold the pack for like 7k or something. Because I don't really care about those nicknames. I don't really plan on doing any other Heisman collection. Besides if I do, like I said, get the RG3. And I have that Baylor in my reserve. So 7,400 discard value. That was pretty nice. And I think some really decent pulls start coming up real soon here. So let's see what we can get. Joseph Barksdale, Brandon Flowers, this is one of the good cards, 95 speed, 91 man, uh, sucks he's only 88 overall, another quick sell for 5,000, this is something I really wanted to be uh, talking about in a video, um, if you notice a lot of the cornerbacks like uh, Jonathan Joseph, um, Casey Hayward, that Brandon Flowers you just saw, Darrell Revis, Champ Bailey, Patrick Peterson, um, Alfonso Smith, all these cards have just insane attributes and for some reason they're only 88 to like 92 overall and it makes no sense most of the cards really seem like if they were on Madden they'd be at least a 97 overall like Alfonso Smith I don't know what they did and how they rate corners in this game but you almost have to be damn near perfect to have a good rating because there's a lot of cornerbacks like my Jonathan Joseph 90 overall but he has like 96 speed 95 man 92 zone uh, 89 press. I just don't understand how he's so low overall. It makes no sense. Um, let me know if you've noticed that too. Uh, Eric Winston, I thought that looked rare. Kept him. And Mario Williams, I was happy to pull that. I was going to use him until I saw his speed was 81. And I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really like the slower defensive end. So I ended up selling him, I think for like 25, 26K. So it was a good pull. Um,. 16 unopened packs. I know this is going to be a rather long video. I was trying to open them up as fast as possible. Because I knew I was going to end up doing uh, commentary over it. And, uh, I don't know. It just seems like, even though the packs do open up faster, there's a lot more packs you open on this game in bundles rather than Madden. I'm glad you get more packs in bundles rather than Madden. Because it seems like the, if you do it with PSN on Madden, it really isn't worth it in my opinion. Because you can only get, like, what is it, 24 bundles the most? And look at that, I was so happy I got that Gabe Karimi. Because I uh, was going to give my friend Fuggle the Brian Beluga that he wanted, or Belaga. I don't know how to say his name correctly, I think it's Belaga. Uh, he wanted the Brian Belaga, and I ended up giving him to him for 150 So the Gabe Karimi, definitely a addition to my team. And uh, there will be a gameplay video after this video. Uh, I have a couple saved up, head-to-head -head seasons. I'm just trying to find games where people actually play the full game. And it's not a complete blowout and they just quit. Uh, I mean, if you want to see blowouts, let me know. Because I have uh, almost a full folder full of, full of them. <laughs> and they quit around halftime. So I don't know if that's something you guys want to see or not. But uh, one of the videos has a funny reaction in the background. The guy playing. I'm not sure if I can get the audio, though. For some reason, when I record with an Elgato, and let me know if you guys have this issue... Um, I don't get the audio when I put it in Vegas of anything. It doesn't seem like it records with the audio. I mean, maybe it does, but I'm not sure. Because every time I put it in, it just it says no audio, and I don't know how to do it. So I think Chase does. Uh, sometimes uh, he has videos where there's a little bit of audio in the background. and I mean, I'm pretty sure everything's hooked up right, but I don't know. We'll have to find out. Um, anything else in this pack? I got a silver Alex Smith. Vinny Curry was cool to see. Um, not really that good in the NFL, but I love seeing that. I love how there's really good players in, in foot. 
that didn't really transition well to the NFL yet, at least. There's a lot of players that are 60 overall and Madden that are 80 overall in this game, and I thought it's really cool to see. <clears throat> uh, Dashing Goldson or Deshaun Goldson right there is an <laughs> one of the key things that I'm talking about right there. He's like 92 overall in Madden, 72 overall in this game. And as you see, like I said, I'm discarding some of the golds because I know they don't go for a lot. I have a lot of reserves, and I really don't need to keep them. So... That's the reason I'm doing that. Let's see what else we get. We get a Brandon Albert. That's another card I was super pumped to get. Uh, I had already pulled the Chance Warmack and the, uh, I forgot the other guy's name. Uh, I can't remember, but the Brandon Albert, definitely, I'm going to use on my team. Um, I was using left tackles at left guard and right guard, so definitely nice to get actual players at that position. There's Carson Palmer's brother, Jordan Palmer. And uh, reveal all, and we got a Will Blackman. And like I said, I'm not keeping cards like that. It's not worth it. This is Cassius Vaughn. I should, probably should have kept that. I don't think I keep it, though. I do keep the Boise State Stadium, though, because I want to see what it looks like to play on a blue field. I think it would be epic. The reason I really wanted to do that is because when I play in Ohio Stadium, uh, when you're throwing the ball deep and you see a little ball indicator, it's kind of hard to see it. It blends in with, like, the red of Ohio State. Uh, but with blue... I think it would be really easy to see it, really easy to uh, user catch. So that's the reason why I want to try that out. Uh, Marquis Pouncey, Elite. Got another one of those. I ended up buying one. I caved in and just bought one for my team. I think for like 11 k so now nah, I definitely get the money back for that. Uh, seven packs left. I was really, really, really banking on pulling a uh, Bo Jackson for you guys, but... Uh, we'll have to see if it happens. I don't know. I probably just gave it away there. Uh, I will say this, though. Um, those cards are extremely hard to pull. Even the Heisman hopefuls are hard to pull out of all American packs because it just... I rarely see them. Uh, my friend opened up like 38 packs. Didn't pull one. Um, the Elite cards, however, I do think they have a little bit of good odds compared to those other cards. Uh, Bo Jackson is damn near impossible to pull, though. I mean, I pulled some Heisman hopefuls. Chase has pulled some Heisman hopefuls. I think London pulled a couple. But <laughs> Bo Jackson, get out of here. And especially that RG3. I don't even know of anyone that pulled RG3 yet. So uh, I don't know if I really like that or not. I mean, it, it is better that not everybody is pulling the new shit. Like if, if Ultimate Team says, hey, we got new flashback cards coming out. Uh, they're coming out at 8 p.m., let me know if you uh, like these cards or not. And then right at 8 p.m., around like 8.05, you look at the auction block, and there's like 13 up already. So way easy in Madden. So I don't know. I, I kind of like it better in Infoot. Because when you get it, you're going to freak out, you know. Kind of like that Eddie George pool. Even though he really wasn't that rare or that expensive, I was just happy to pull him. All right, so we got Raheem Moore here, and uh, we get this little glitch where it takes forever to put a card in your reserves. I don't know why. It happens to me from time to time. Really annoying. And it uh, looks like we have about three packs here. And uh, one of these packs has something pretty decent in it. So you'll be happy to see that. Vance McDonald, never even heard of that guy before. Taylor Mays. I was happy to pull him until I looked at his speed, and I'm like, really? Pretty sure Taylor Mays was way faster than that in college, but oh well, I'll take it. Buckeyes nickname, always nice to pull one of those. Discard it. <laughs> um, already up to 40k pulling packs. Discard value and a lot of shit to sell. Like I said, I got up to about 120k, and I still have like 13 things on the auction block. So, Brandon Banks, one of the best kick returners in Madden, and here's Jonathan Joseph. I didn't show the stats unfortunately because I think I've already done that before, but that's the card I was talking about. He should be at least, honest, in my honest opinion, he should be like 97 overall based off of his uh, attributes. I don't understand. But uh, here's the pack with a decent pool. Somewhere in the middle of the pack. And uh, we're going to end on this one. Like I said, there's going to be a gameplay video up soon. Uh, I don't know which one I'm going to choose, but I'll pick a good one. As you see there, Terrell Suggs. Uh, he was a right outside linebacker, got moved to right end. I don't know why they did that, but uh, I guess I was kind of upset about that because my linebackers weren't the greatest uh, on the outside and he really made him good 
But uh, now I have a 99 defensive end, so it's whatever. But that was the packs, and I will talk to you guys later in a 